Although I was full to busting, I smiled, took the bowl, and began to spoon the both hot and cold delight into my mouth. Overly stuffed, Micah hugged me, swatted my bottom, and lovingly joked as she said, now get out of Micah's kitchen and never return. As I was leaving, I called back, love you Micah. I could hear her sighing, ah such a good boy. Although I had resolved not to mope around any longer, I guess I still was. I could tell by the way grandmother and grandfather acted around me, and mom too for that matter. Mom tried to get me to talk about it, but I knew she wasn't in any shape to deal with her own emotions, let alone mine. Still, it was good to talk with all of them and not to be locked away in my room. So that's what I did the rest of that day, I visited with them. By the next morning, I was ready to head back out into the world.